Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist. Today in this video lecture, we are going to talk about the concept of apiron. We are going to talk about apiron concept. In the previous video lecture, we talked about the control of transcription initiation. We talked that how the transcription uh, will be controlled by regulatory proteins. We talked repressor, we talked activator, and we talked uh, positive or negative control. We also explain that process through a diagram. Okay, so if you miss this video lecture, so go back to my channel and watch this video. Okay, friend. So what is operon? Let me write. Operon. Uh, as uh, let me a little bit uh, explain the background that uh, we talked the regulation of gene expression and we also talked the control of transcription okay but we just talked the control of transcription but we didn't talk that how it is actually controlled what's going on what are the basics we didn't talk although we talked but we didn't explain it in detail actually the transcription is controlled or regulated by this operon. Okay, remember, guys, operon is actually this is a set of genes. Let me write set or group of genes. Group of genes in a DNA. Okay. This operon concept was first discovered by a scientist uh, it, it's actually discovered by two scientists named Jacob Jacob and Monet Jacob and Monet in 1961 1961 okay so this operon concept was actually developed by Jacob and Monet in 1961 this operon or this set of gene or group of genes actually tell us that how the genes will be activated how the genes will be activated when the genes will be activated at what time the genes will be activated it is actually controlled by this operon it is actually uh, done by this operon now to explain this operon so let's suppose uh, uh, actually this operon contain two most important thing okay if we want to explain it so it contain two most important thing one we called it controller genes and the other we call it structural genes so these are actually the genes which are present in the operon the controller genes are those genes which do not have a coding sequencing for the production of protein or for the production of the product but the structural genes have coding sequencing have uh, information through which we get the product the product could be mRNA or uh, uh, what we have we have a uh, protein okay now this controller genes further contain three more genes or three more sequencing which we call that the first we call that regulatory genes sorry the second we call that promoter promoter while the third we call that operator Okay. These are the controller genes. In case of the structural genes, we have different structural genes which we denoted S1, S2, S3 and so on. We have different genes. So remember guys, the controller genes actually control the structural genes. And if we have one controller genes for multiple structural genes, to control multiple structural genes, we call that process polycystronic process okay remember guys if we get one mrna having multiple uh, having the ability to produce multiple protein we call that uh, a polycystronic mrna so this uh, this is this process is mainly occur in case of the prokaryotic okay so we are actually uh, explaining this concept uh, operon concept in case of pro Carriots, not in eukaryotes. Okay, in, in eukaryotes it's very complicated. Okay, so <coughs> uh, 
as we talked that uh, in prokaryotes uh, there is one promoter to control all the cluster of the genes so similar in this case we have one controller genes to control all the structural genes okay guys now regulatory is actually not mentioned in prom op operant concept why because regulatory have their own promoter and their own operator through which we uh, you know through which it can produce regulatory proteins that's why it is actually not the part of operon but still we consider it in a part of operon because it control the structural gene also okay and the promoter is that area promoter is that area where the rna polymerase bind where the activator protein are bind okay and then we have operator portion operator is actually that portion where the repressor protein are bind due to which the transcription process is stopped okay remember guys regulatory genes are actually it have their own promoter and own operator and we have the example are beta galactosidase beta galactosidase beta galactosidase is actually the regulatory genes portion or actually we obtain the beta galactosidase through this regulatory genes why because uh, it can you know enhance or stop the process of transcription we can say that this regulatory genes are involved in two process positive transcription and negative control of the transcription okay one thing more that due to uh, at this promoter region at this promoter region what happened at this promoter region we have uh, a regulatory protein the regulatory protein uh, let me tell th that regulatory we have two types of the regulatory one we call that activator protein other we call that repressor again these are what these are actually transcriptional factor this activator protein can bind on the promoter region that can enhance the promotion or, or that can start the uh, uh, transcription process a repressor protein bind to this operator region that can stop the transcription process okay so let's suppose let me draw the uh, let me explain with diagram let's suppose this is a dna as you can see inside this dna we have what we have the promoter region operator region and the structural genes and we have also another portion let's suppose this is another portion we call that regulator regulator genes okay so remember guys first of all this regulatory genes actually transcribe to produce regulatory proteins these regulatory proteins could be activator and repressor these are also called as transcriptional factor tf transcriptional factor why because these two protein in which activator are involved to start the transcription process and repressor are involved to stop the transcription process this activator bind to this promoter region okay and it will bend the dna and attract some other activator protein due to which the rna polymerase are attracted and start the transcription process which we call a positive transcription control in next case the repressor protein we already talked it in the previous video okay but again i will uh, explaining here due to the operon concept again we have the repressor protein repressor protein mainly bind to the operator region once it bind to the operator region so the structure gene will be not transcribed so if the structure gene are not transcribed so this is called as negative transcriptional control okay so that's all about the operon concept i hope you guys get idea about that inshallah in the next video we will explain the lac operon trap operon in a detail so that's all about the operon so i hope uh, you understand and if still you have any kind of question you can write a question into a comment i will give you answer as soon as possible if you like this video so make sure to hit the like button share this video and definitely subscribe the channel to get more interesting videos like that thank you so much